This conference will now be recorded. Hello students, in this class we are moving to another chapter which is photosynthesis. So let's see which and all topics you need to cover in this chapter for uh, NEED 2024. So photosynthesis in higher plants, that's what we are learning. So according to NEED syllabus, photosynthesis in higher plants here, photosynthesis in the aspect of autotrophic nutrition you need to learn then cytophotosynthesis pigments which are involved in photosynthesis then the phases of photosynthesis cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation chemiosmotic hypothesis what is photorespiration what are c3 and c4 pathways then which are the factors affecting the photosynthesis these are the main topics which we are going to cover in this chapter so let's start the discussion now here in photosynthesis in higher plants first topic photosynthesis as a mean of autotrophic nutrition so photosynthesis, photosynthesis. Here you know. See why I have I have separated this way, uh, words means photon. In Greek, this word photon means light. Right. Synthesis means putting together. Right, so this is, or the photosynthesis is the only mechanism of energy input into the living world. This is the mechanism of energy input into the living world. So this is the one and only mechanism here the input of energy to the living world that is taking place. And here one exception is there. Only exception to this is chemosynthetic bacteria. So photosynthesis is the energy input for the living world. Right. And here exceptional case which we are saying that is chemosynthetic bacteria. chemosynthetic bacteria and this chemosynthetic bacteria that obtain energy how chemosynthetic bacteria is getting energy by oxidizing inorganic substances oxidizing inorganic substances so chemosynthetic bacteria are obtaining energy by oxidizing inorganic substances and synthesis of organic compounds like uh, which are the organic compounds the organic compounds like carbohydrate or glucose by the cells of green plants organic compounds like carbohydrate or glucose so these organic compounds are getting synthesized in the presence of sunlight presence of sunlight so in the presence of sunlight organic compounds are getting synthesized and here with the help of carbon dioxide and water. With the help of these carbon dioxide and water, it is taking place. And where it is taking place? In green plants. In the cells of green plants. This is called as photosynthesis. 
so in the presence of light it is taking place with the help of carbon dioxide and water it is taking place and in the cells of green plants it is taking place and this is synthesizing after this what is getting synthesized carbohydrate or glucose so that is called as photosynthesis and photosynthesis is sometimes called as carbon assimilation so this is sometimes called as carbon assimilation right and this photosynthesis is represented by one equation this is very important see here previous year questions you can see mechanism of energy input to the living world and except the exceptional thing is the chemosynthetic bacteria that is by oxidizing inorganic substances and the organic compound carbohydrate or glucose in the presence of sunlight and with the help of carbon dioxide and water it is getting synthesized in green cells uh, sorry in the cells of green plants okay so that is called as photosynthesis and photosynthesis sometimes it is called as carbon assimilation and the important equation here that is also previous year question here 6 co2 plus 12 h2o in the presence of light and chlorophyll it is forming c6h12o6 plus 6o2 plus 6h2o okay so this is the main thing like a photosynthesis in the aspect of autotrophic nutrition this much we need to learn and next is like site of photosynthesis site of photosynthesis so which is the site of photosynthesis see in eukaryote photosynthesis is taking place in chloroplast in eukaryotes photosynthesis is taking place in chloroplast and where it is present this chloroplast it is present in the cytoplasm and this number of chloroplast that will vary from one organism to another organism that means in chlorella the number varies and again we need to say about like from 1 to 100 One to about hundred, that number will vary. Next point which we need to mention that is chloroplast. These are visible under light microscope, and that is having chloroplast. It is. visible under light microscope and that's around 3 to 10 micrometer in diameter that is having diameter around 3 to 10 micrometer and they are covered by two membranes that is having two membrane it's double membrane system which one chloroplast and each membrane is having 9 to 10 nanometer thickness okay and inside or internally the chloroplast that is containing matrix or stroma by learning about the cell organelles we have learned about the chloroplast also so internally a chloroplast contains matrix or stroma and thylakoids okay then what are this thylakoids thylakoids are the chlorophyll containing flattened membranous sacs membrane bound sacs and these are present in stroma so matrix or 
trauma that we said so chloroplast contains matrix or stroma and thylakoids what is thylakoids which are present in the stroma so thylakoids are the chlorophyll containing flattened membranous structures or sacs which are present in the stroma and at some places 20 to 50 thylakoid disc that will aggregate to form a granum thylakoids that forms granum okay and the thylakoids are the site of light reaction thylakoids they are the light reaction is taking place okay because thylakoids we know that there the chlorophyll is present the light capturing pigment is present so here thylakoids are the site of light reaction but stroma that is the site of dark reaction in stroma dark reaction is taking place so these are repeated previous year questions where light reaction is taking place where dark reaction is taking place okay and what is granum what is matrix what is thylakoid all these you need to learn these are the important questions so thylakoids are the site of light reaction and stroma is a site of dark reaction so where light and dark reactions are taking place that is very very important next we are going to learn about the pigments which are involved in photosynthesis pigments involved in photosynthesis so which are the pigments which are involved in the photosynthesis the most common photosynthetic pigment in higher plant and green algae higher plant higher plants and green algae the most common photosynthetic pigment in higher plants and green algae we can say that carotenoid chlorophyll a then phycobilins carotenoid chlorophyll a then phycobilins so here carotenoid means this is a group of accessory photosynthetic pigment accessory photosynthetic pigment and this is having yellowish or reddish color it's having yellowish or reddish color and this carotenoids which light it will absorb carotenoid absorb the radiations in the mid region of light spectrum absorption from mid region of light spectrum okay from the light spectrum the mid region of the light spectrum it is absorbing and these will convert the nascent oxygen to molecular oxygen carotenoids having the power to convert nascent oxygen to molecular oxygen nascent oxygen to molecular oxygen which one carotenoids having the power to convert nascent oxygen to the molecular oxygen and the, that protects various chloroplast constituents from the nascent oxygen okay and next here comes the chlorophyll a and chlorophyll a is also an essential pigment in the photosynthesis because that can convert light energy into chemical energy chlorophyll a can convert light energy into 
chemical energy chemical energy in the sense here we can mention atp and the basic structure of all chlorophyll molecules that is a porphyrin system porphyrin system and here in the porphyrin system four pyrrole rings four pyrrole rings they are linked together by methane groups by methane groups this is very important question here chlorophyll a in that portion you need to learn about the basic structure of all chlorophyll molecule that is porphyrin system in this porphyrin system four pyrrole rings are linked together by methane groups and that forms the ring system okay then here one thing you need to note down pigments like chlorophyll b carotenoids all these act as accessory pigments so chlorophyll a is the essential pigment and carotenoid and chlorophyll b and all they are acting as a accessory pigments next is phycobilin this phycobilin uh, these are water soluble and here the tetrapyrrole pigments they are found in the red algae and blue blue green algae found in red algae and blue green algae and these phycobilins they are of different types especially we can say they are of three types phycocyanin allophycocyanin and phycoerythrin phycocyanin which is blue then allophycocyanin that is blue sorry phycocyanin blue next allophycocyanin this is also blue and phycoerythrin is red so the pigments which are involved in photosynthesis also you have learned next comes the mechanism of photosynthesis here in the mechanism of photosynthesis the process of photosynthesis is divided into two phases divided into two phases which are the two phases in the mechanism of photosynthesis one is the photochemical phase and second one is the biosynthetic phase
photochemical phase and the other one is biosynthetic phase. So we said the two phases, photochemical phase and biosynthetic phase. In the photosynthetic phase, sorry, photochemical phase, We can say otherwise light reaction or hill reaction here the photochemical phase or light reaction or hill reaction this occurs inside the thylakoids. inside the thylakoids or we can say the grana of chloroplast here the function of this phase that is to produce assimilatory powers produces assimilatory powers that means it is producing ATP and NADPH that produces ATP, NADPH etc and some events are included in this Okay, so that includes uh, some events like light absorption. Then uh, splitting of water. Release of oxygen. And formation of high energy chemical intermediates. So all these steps are taking place. First light absorption, absorption, then splitting of water, then release of oxygen, then energy, high energy chemical intermediates. Right. And several complexes of protein and other pigments, all these are involved in the light reaction or the photochemical phase. So protein and pigments. protein complexes and pigments those are involved in this reaction so the light reaction photochemical reaction that is otherwise called as hill reaction also
first see light absorption. See the events in this photochemical phase or light reaction. This you need to note down. Then what and all assimilatory powers ATP and NADPH it is producing and where it is taking place inside thylakoid or grana of chloroplast there it is taking place and which and all the steps involved or the events involved in this light reaction that you need to learn. light absorption first we will discuss light absorption so the molecules which are responsible for the absorption of light they are protein based complex In light absorption, the responsible molecule that is protein based complex this is called as light harvesting compounds. Light harvesting compounds sorry light harvesting complex light harvesting complex or lhc light harvesting complex okay and these light harvesting complex or lhc they are organ organized into Photosystem 1 and Photosystem 2. Photosystem 1 and Photosystem 2. Here the photosystem one, let's see about photosystem one or pigment system one. So the photosystem one or pigment system one, the reaction center in this pigment system is the reaction center in this pigment system is P700. Okay, so that absorbs the light of wavelength 700 nanometer. That's why we are writing, uh, we are writing as P700 that absorbs the light of wavelength 700 nanometer. And PS1, this photosystem one that can carry on uh, cyclic photophosphorylation. Okay, so this. PS1 or photosystem 1 can carry on the cyclic photophosphorylation independently. And the PS1. Photosystem 1 with electron carriers that is located on both the known abrased parts of grana thylakoid and stroma thylakoid. Okay, then what about PS system? Uh, PS 
टू और फोटो सिस्टम टू सी फोटो सिस्टम टू और पिगमेंट सिस्टम टू और पी सिक्स एटी दैट इज द सेकेंड वन फोटो सिस्टम टू दैट इज पी सिक्स एटी Here this P six eighty. This functions as the reaction center in this photosystem. So that is the reaction center in photosystem. Then. the photons which are having lower wavelength that is absorbed by this photosystem and this is located in the epressed part of thylakoid and this will carry out non cyclic photophosphorylation non cyclic non cyclic photophosphorylation with photosystem 1 okay so this is the light absorption part then we said light absorption is there then photolysis of water or splitting of water and then release of oxygen that step is there 